my name is Lydia Rolita. I'm a physician. I work at Montefiore Medical Center in the Bronx in New York. This study was done was when I was at NYU Medical Center in Lower Manhattan. And we looked at a group uh, population of patients at Geisinger in Philadelphia. It's a rural population of about 10,000 people in our study that we looked at. We were interested in looking at the, this population of elderly people with osteoarthritis in the community to see whether when Vioxx was pulled from the market in 2005, if there was a change in prescription practices among physicians and if there was actually any unintended consequences specifically with falls and fractures in that population. In our 10,000 patients that we enrolled, we showed that there was an increased risk in, uh, increase in falls and fractures in that population from the start of the study in 2001 to the end of the study in 2009. And that risk actually did coincide with the increased use of narcotic analgesics. Viax was pulled from the market because there was a increase in myocardial infarctions and cardio, cardiac events and so it was taken off the market because people were concerned about having more cardiovascular complications. In this population, however, we showed that there was an increased risk of falls instead, which was much more common and probably a lot more significant in this population. Because of this, I think it's important to go back and reanalyze our recommendations and look at all the risk factors that a population has as opposed to a blanket statement. So specifically in the elderly, probably falls and fractures are more important. And it's probably important to look and weigh, and risks, weigh the risks and benefits in this population much more carefully before making blanket statements and releasing recommendations. Uh, we're further, our further work in this area is to look at other medications and see if there are com certain combinations of medications result in increased uh, fractures or falls in the elderly or other unintended consequences. And if based on individual risk factors if we can make recommendations for certain medications as opposed to other medications.